God bless you, Minister Bogan. I gotta look in the camera. <laughs> oh, that's what that was. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? We are live once again. It's about that time. <sighs> you are now tuned in live. Okay, live. L I V E. With your boy, Minister <laughs> Ali, and my big brother, Dwayne Hyler. And together we make up the seat talk show. Is, it was between me and God. Okay, because we're living in a society in the age or day. I sound like one of the preachers. We're living in a day, in, in a time. time okay, <laughs> where it seems like everybody want to know your sin. Everybody want to know what you've done. Everybody want to know what you've been through. Everybody want to know what you've gone through. And it seems like, or your your faults, your shortcomings, and it seems like that has become uh, uh, an establishment uh, amongst those who follow or profess the name of Jesus Christ. Why is that? I don't know. But our job here today is to shed some light on the truth of God's word so that we may give people understanding. So our focal scripture will be coming from Psalms 51 and several others, you know, because we always got to have something to back it up. All right. And another one is First John 1 and 9. And today we want to talk about repentance between God and man. And why, you, why do you think that is so pivotal? That we, we emphasize repentance between God and man. Well, uh, for, or we keep it, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I mean, first of all, that's only God can restore that that connection with him. Thank you. Man can't restore that. Wow. Right? Now, if you want to go back in the day and talk about the priests and mm -hmm. sacrifice and whatnot, Yes, but Christ is the, the the sacrifice. The Word is the priest, right? So it's between you wow. and God now. So the purpose of of repentance and whatnot is just to clear your conscience, mm -hmm. so you can commune with God. And only spirit. man can't do that for you. No sir. So it's important that you that you focus on God in that regard. But for some reason, it seems like. Man wants to be involved, so involved yes. in other people's yes. life, works, and repentance, right? Wow. And I see that I see that happen in church a lot, or in religion a lot, where men try to take the place of God, right? And I don't know why that is, but I see it. Like they want to be in charge of what you're doing, right? Or they want to condemn you. Wow. Right. I was as, opposed, about that as opposed to just pointing you to the word. Yes. So that you can repent. Wow. Or if you're doing something that's affecting the body of Christ negatively, yes. rebuking you so that you can go back to God and repent. Yes. But, but it's more than that. Like we want to hate. Like I want to be mad at you because you sinned against God. That's so stupid to me. Like, why do I have to be mad at you because you did something wrong to God? And, and, and it's crazy because I used to look at that scripture and I always question. I said, then what about Uriah and his family? And, and, and it's crazy. We can on, only pinpoint that because that was like a great sin uh, at that time. But there was plenty of times David disobeyed God when he told him not to number the children of Israel. Then he right. let Satan provoke him. There's plenty of sins that David committed. Right. You know what I'm saying? That I believe led him up into this great, this great, this, I'm going to say massive uh, understanding of God's grace, repentance, and promises. Right. You know, and like you say, man wants to be involved. Why do you think man wants to be involved? Let's just throw out some, some speculations because it, it'll all tie into the word because everything that we need to understand is laid out in scripture. We see that with the Pharisees yeah. and the religious leaders. Everybody wants to be involved. Yeah, it's the same thing you see in the word continuously manifesting itself repeatedly over and over. Over and over again, the same thing, right? It's the flesh, it's, it's pride, it's carnality, it's Genesis 3.15, mm. you know what I mean? Uh, the, the seeds warring against each other, right? And it's, it's really a wow. negative thing to where I'm supposed to be your brother. Mm -hmm. This is the enemy. We have the same enemy. We have a common enemy. When the enemy gets you, mm -hmm. instead of getting mad at the enemy with you in you war and in me. battle I'm mad at you oh, like you did he didn't condemn people because wow. the Bible clearly says that he didn't come to condemn but mm -hmm. to save that's right but we're more focused on at times it seems like 
trying to condemn each other as mm-hmm. opposed to trying to mm-hmm. uh, love each other and point us in the right direction so that we can be saved from mm-hmm. whatever we're going through.